In today's video, the value of your voice, five reasons for sharing your learning online. Hello coaches. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better Quick Tips. My name is Kim and I am the founder of Eduro Learning. One of our foundational programs is the Certificate of Educational Technology and Information Literacy. And in the Coattail program, one of the things we do is require you to share your learning throughout the course with a public blog. This is a huge challenge for lots of educators who feel like they really don't have anything to share or who would want to read their thinking or their thinking isn't valuable enough to share. And in reality, that couldn't be further from the truth. Today, I want to share five reasons why sharing your learning online is super valuable for you particularly, but also for others. And this is something that I have learned time and time again, not only from blogging for myself, but also from facilitating coattail cohorts and from working with educators all around the world who are connecting and sharing in digital spaces. At first, it can seem a little bit self-promotional to be sharing your own thinking, but if you switch your mindset a little bit around to be more of a documentarian, more of a connector, more of a reflector, you might see the potential of sharing your voice in digital spaces. So here are my five reasons. As I'm going through these five reasons, please keep in mind that sharing your thinking in a digital space can be whatever format works right for you. Whatever feels comfortable for you, whatever space feels comfortable for you, that's the most important part is to be able to make that space that feels comfortable for you in sharing your learning. The first reason is to consolidate your own thinking. So we have lots of thoughts that are kind of rolling around in our brains that we don't always pull together into consolidated and clearly articulated statements. Taking the time to actually do that helps not only solidify your own understanding and make it really concrete in your brain, but it helps you articulate your thinking for others. I know I think of my blog as like an external hard drive, and when I take the time and energy to write a blog post, I'm writing in a way that not only will it help me remember what I was thinking, what I was doing, why I was going through this process, what kind of impact it made, but I was also writing that post in a way that someone else could understand it. And when you are writing in a way that someone else can understand, that means you really understand what you're trying to say. So by consolidating your own thinking and documenting it in a consistent place, you are not only making sure that you concretely understand what you're talking about, but you're articulating it for others as well. The second reason that it's valuable to share your learning online is that by doing so, you are documenting your learning over time. When you can look back over years and years and years of professional growth, not only is that hugely powerful for you, because we so rarely stop and look back at the learning that we've done over time, but it also demonstrates your commitment to professional learning for things like potential future job hunts, maybe making a presentation somewhere, or maybe even you're going to write a book based on all these blog posts you've accumulated over the years. Taking the time to document your learning demonstrates a strong commitment to professional development and it is the best archive of everything you've done and achieved over your professional career that you can just hand to a potential employer or someone looking for keynote speakers or potentially pull together for future publication. One of the things that many educators that I work with in our private mentoring programs, inside the coach, in Coattail and Women Who Lead, is that as soon as we achieve a goal, we're ready to move on to the next one and we kind of forget the great things we've already done. So if you don't make space for documenting those things, it can feel like you're always looking towards the next thing without having that moment of celebration and consolidation and documentation of the great work that you've already done. So our professional learning experiences, Coattail, The Coach, and Women Who Lead, all actually require you to document your growth over time so that you can look back and see how far you've come. When you think about going for an interview or getting ready to make a presentation, this is exactly the kind of resource that you need. And if you've been building it all along, you'll have it right there at your fingertips. The third reason I think it's valuable to share your learning online is to model for your students. 
your students are probably using lots of different social media tools and they're probably using them to socialize with each other, but they're probably not using them for academic self-reflection documentation of their learning. So this is a way to demonstrate for your students how you can use these tools in a more academic setting. It might not be something they want to pick up immediately for themselves, but if they see you being engaged and actively reflecting on your learning, that will help prioritize that kind of experience for them too. We know in schools, particularly in IB schools, this idea of reflection can feel really burdensome because we're asked to do it all the time. But if it's something that you as the teacher are engaging in passionately and you see a reason and value in doing so, that will help your students see that real life value as well. The fourth reason why it's valuable to share your learning online is as you are trying to make connections with others, to build your personal learning network, to find other educators that are passionate and engaged in the same things that you are, it's a lot easier for them to get to know you if you have something that you have shared online for them to read or see or look at. So as you're building your personal learning network, if you are a complete blank slate, you're just a white egg on your Twitter profile, it's really hard for people to know if you're a person they want to get to know. So by putting yourself out there, you're sharing what you stand for, what you're learning about, what you believe in, what you're trying, what you're doing in your classroom, who you are as an educator to make the connections that might help you not only further your own educational career, but make the connections that you might need to help your students in their classroom kind of side benefit of this is that there's always someone who's newer than you at a thing. So you might be initially thinking about sharing your learning in digital spaces to make connections with others, and others might be looking at the learning that you're sharing as a way for them to connect with you. Which leads me to point number five, which is to practice using your own unique voice in digital spaces. The way that you experience something, the way that you share something, the way you talk about things is unique. It might not be completely brand new, but your perspective and your experience and the way that you talk about this particular thing is uniquely you. And the way that you share things uniquely your way is going to resonate with some people. You're going to find an audience who resonates with the way you write, the way you share and the perspective that you have, even if the actual content you're sharing isn't entirely brand new. So you should never feel this pressure to be sharing something new all the time. It's actually the way that you're sharing, and that helps you find the community that's going to support you best and the community that you can actively engage in and be a part of as well. All right, those were my five reasons to share your learning online so that you can find value in your voice. If this is something that is interesting to you, you will love the Coattail program. Coattail is our Certificate of Educational Technology and Information Literacy. It's a five-course online certificate program designed to empower you to leverage innovative, technology-rich learning opportunities in your school setting. All educators are welcome in our Coattail community, whether you're currently in the classroom, a specialist, a learning leader, or a school administrator. Coattail will engage and empower you to bring new and innovative learning strategies to life in your school community. Registration for our next global cohort opens on the 18th of October and closes on the 14th of November. We facilitate only one cohort each year so we can create connected, collaborative, and community-driven global cohorts. Now is your chance to be part of a global movement to transform learning for all students. Become a co-tailor today. Head over to coattail.com to find out more. Here at Aduro, we provide customized online professional learning for educators at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Our mission is to empower the relentless learner in you to embrace your inner leader and make a bigger impact in your school setting. Join our Coach Better Facebook group and connect with us on social media at Aduro Learning for more great resources at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.